Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to bind quite book pages. I will need a book, of course. Uh, I installed a magnetic snap on the front cover. I attached the closure. I will need a fabric for the binding strips, rotary cutter. I will need cardboard or even you may use regular paper. Then masking tape, patchwork ruler to cut the binding strips and the needle that I'm going to use for the binding is number 16 or 100 and I recommend you to wind the bobbin to avoid unpleasant surprises with the ending of the thread so let's get started so here I have two pages front sides back sides now I just assemble them together facing wrong sides and I'm going to use wonder clips First, I will align corners and then sides. Now you have two options. First one is you may sew them together with the basting stitch or with the sewing machine. I'm going to choose second option. You may use your regular presser foot or the presser foot for the hemming or for the blind stitch. I have five pairs of pages. One, two, three, four, five. It means set of two pages that are sewing together. So I need five binding strips. I'm going to cut the binding strip three and a half centimeters wide to determine the length of the binding strip. I need to measure the size of one side of the page, in my case is 16 centimeters, and I'm going to multiply it by four. One, two, three, four. And I will add three centimeters for the seam allowance. So it will be 16 by four plus, and three. I'm going to cut my binding strips along the lengthwise grain or along the selvage. I'm going to align the fold on the fabric with the mark on the ruler and I will cut straight line. Fold is here now. Again, I'm aligning the edge of the fabric with the mark on the ruler. And here should be right angle, so three and a half. So this is the binding strip to bind one page. In my old video on how to bind quiet book pages, I showed you how to make a template for the corners. Usually I use clear plastic. This is uh, just a plastic folder and uh, just because of um, it's not very clear on the camera, so I will use color cardboard. So this is for my first template. Take your cardboard, align the right edge of the presser foot with the edge of your guide and stitch along the edge without any thread. Take your template and cut here to make an angle 45 degrees. So this is your template number one to bind quiet book pages. To bind quiet book pages using first template, place your binding strip right side down. Now I will take my template and place it aligning the edges of the template and the page like so. Here is the corner. I will stitch till this point here. Then when the needle is inside the page, I will pivot the page to stitch to the angle along the template.
lift the presser foot, hold the template and move your page. Okay. And continue sewing till the edge of the binding or the corner of your page. Now take your binding strip. This edge of the binding strip must continue the straight line of the page, like so. Take your template, put it on the binding strip, like so, and bring the binding strip back. Align the edge of the binding strip with the edge of the page, like so. And pin. And I will continue sewing. I will start sewing at this point and I will continue till the next corner. And again, take your template and repeat same procedure with the template. While you are sewing, pull slightly the binding strip, because it shouldn't be very loose. Pull out the lower thread For the second option, take your template, cardboard or plastic Sew without the threads along the edge okay, I will start here, again no thread And I will stop at the point where the previous stitch comes. Stop. You may use masking tape, but just to make it clear on the video, I will use color coach tape. And I will attach the tape just along the edge of my template here, like so. Now I'm going to lift the presser foot and I will move the template so the corner of the template is facing me it's like I'm dividing the corner by two I will take another cut of the color tape and I will place it just along the edge of the template This is my guide for the edge of the quiet book page. And now I'll show you how to use those guides. So this is the back cover and I'm going to start applying the binding strip one centimeter from the lower edge of the page. I will start one centimeter before the edge and I will finish sewing one centimeter from the edge. Align the edges. Now I'm looking on the left side from the binding strip. Look, the upper edge of the tape is just right where the edge of the page is. See? It means now I need to 
move the page. So the needle is inside the page. I'm lifting the presser foot and moving the page like so. So now I need to align the edge of the tape with the edge of the page. Look, like so. Now I will continue sewing till the corner. Straight line. These are inner pages, turn out the binding strip. For now I need only inner pages. I will use pins and I will start in the center of each side and only then corner. I'm folding the binding and I need to cover just a little bit, approximately only half of millimeter, I need to cover the previous seam. Now I'm going to finish the binding. I'm going to stitch with straight stitch, but if you are doing this for the very first time, I recommend you to use any decorative stitch. So what I have here now, three inner pages are bound. The last page I attached the binding strip only on one side and I left open the fourth side to hide the inner spine under the binding. So page will have 
very neat finishing and i left without the binding the first page which is the cover i will bind it when i attach the spines inner and outer spines so this is it inner pages last page first page and how to bind the whole book i'll show you in my next tutorial thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe